every other day. Italy is spewing something unbelievable that leaves everyone shocked. From celebrations with snakes, vampire skulls, and mysterious finds, here are unbelievable discoveries from Italy that you won't believe. Pompeii Body Casts Look at the locals of Pompeii. They are the unfortunate victims of volcanic destruction. These unfortunate Pompeians could not flee the city in time and were taken down by lava and soot. They were found buried under 30 feet of mud for 1,700 years. These 1,150 skeletons of avalanche stuck local residents were covered with ashes and reduced for centuries and were found in excavations that began in the early 19th century. And by plastering the vinyl poses and the faces, scientists have been able to reconstruct the remains. Even though they died a long time ago, these casts will remind you of the pain they endured and send chills down your spine. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Sunken Roman City of Baie This is no ordinary city, but a Roman elite metropolis that had drowned long ago that was mentioned in odes by the historical artists, which led to people thinking that it was just a myth but its recent discovery has left everyone's mind boggled. As the researchers learn more about the city's location on the seafloor, during the Roman Empire, the city began to sink into the ocean. The slow sink into the sea drove many residents away. The remaining people fled around 1500, and then it all sank. Currently, 328 feet of the site sits in the bay. Today, Baie is a great tourist destination and one of the only places you can see an underwater city. Ancient Fast Food Counter If you're in the mood for an ancient snack, this is the place to go, as researchers have unearthed a frescoed thermopolio, a hot food shop in easy words. Food was kept in a large jar and was embedded in the masonry counter. They were also very Roman worlds, but this one is special as it was found in the remains of Pompeii, which was wiped off the globe with that huge catastrophe, and this discovery will help examine the lost culture. It had various paintings of animals on it. 2,000-year-old shipwreck This scuba diver got into Italian waters when he came across something that was long lost. Well. It was a Roman ship that had sunk 2,000 years ago. The still underwater wreck was found to be roughly 110 feet in length and was in definitely good condition. Some of its wrecked parts, like broken pieces, were scattered on the bed of the ocean. Some of its meandering sections even had sea coral reefs growing on them. It is undoubtedly a fascinating discovery for modern scientists. Enormous Roman Mosaic A huge Roman mosaic has been uncovered by archaeologists from the University of Nebraska. This discovery exceeded everyone's expectations, and the best part is that it was recently opened to the public for visits. However, its construction is a mystery, as locals believe it took a really long time to complete. It began around the time of the Greeks and lasted until the 1200s AD when the Roman Empire came in. In those 15 centuries, 13 different civilizations are believed to have contributed to the mosaic, which inclined the Greeks, the Romans, the Byzantines, the Arabs, the Crusaders, and the Egyptians. The structure holds something called sacred geometry and is startlingly constructed, and the mosaic art is one of the finest seen so far. Kokulo Snake Festival do you know that when Italians see a snake, they don't run away, but instead take it to their local carnival? Yeah, watch for yourself. <laughs> Apparently, this is the Sirpari festival that is held in memory of San Domenico di Sora, a farmer from the 11th century. 
While some believe that it originated from the ancient worship of Ancidia, a Roman goddess of snakes. To participate, people wear traditional outfits, and snake catchers hand snakes out to worshippers in central Italy. These snakes are also placed gently on a wooden statue of San Domenico, whom they believe miraculously removed snakes from farmers' fields back in the day. The statue was then carried through the streets and held up high in the center of the city. After the festival, the snakes are released back into the wild. World's Longest Eruption Here goes the wild eruption that remained of Pompeii. The entire explosion did glow, with bright orange lava filling the sky, creating a mesmerizing and dramatic scene. But the reality is less dramatic, as it is one of the world's longest running eruptions. The Mount Etna volcano is 3,330 meters high and has erupted a few times a year in the past, with the last major eruption recorded in 1992. This time, however, it topped the volcanic scales at 2,900 meters, and it created a volcanic storm complete with bolts of lightning, which sent ash shooting more than six miles into the air above the sea. Fortunately, there were no injuries. Maggot Cheese Italy is known for its great variety of cheese, from pizza cheese to the kind of cheese you'll think twice before consuming. Now, let me introduce you to the most dangerous cheese of all, the maggot cheese. It's a cheese infested with maggots. I mean, cheese can lead you to high cholesterol and BP, but the amount of danger a maggot cheese can put you through is limitless. Meet Kasum Marzu meaning rotten cheese from the Italian island of Sardinia. The process of cheese making starts off with traditional cheese, which is made out of sheep's milk. Now the next step is exposure to the cheese fly, which takes around 40 days to fill up the cheese with larvae. Then comes the maggots, after two to three months, who basically eat the cheese while excreting out the digested one which brings all the taste as maggots leave the cheese with a doughy and spicy kind of flavor. Apart from knowing how yummy it is, this cheese is illegal to sell. But if you dare to taste it, plan a trip to this cheese island. Shocking Sinkhole The sinkhole opened in the area consisting of clayey soils, and it is being said that it covered an area of more than 2,000 meters and measured around 20 meters in depth. Sadly, numerous cars were swept away, and the local fire department had to rush to the scene in search of potential victims. But no victims or injuries have been reported. The conditions under which the ground collapsed have not yet been identified. Ibex defies gravity. This viral video has totally defied the effect of gravity. Recently, we saw Ibex climbing over a dam at 80 degrees like it was no big deal. The experts say that this goat was walking out onto the dam to lick salt and minerals off the stones. And if you look at the clip, it seems like it is standing quite gracefully on the steep 160-foot wall of the dam, unaware of the potential danger. But that's how Ibex are. They like to climb on the steepest of heights. But that doesn't mean that this fun climb for a lick won't go wrong, because one wrong step, and this Ibex is a goner. Jellyfish invade Italian city. Here comes the slimy, stingy invasion of Italian harbor, as you can see. Well, there's a smack of hundreds of pink jellyfish on the surface of the water. These are Rhizostoma pulmo, the largest jellyfish species in the Mediterranean. But they're not here to vacation, but for plankton searching and warm water near the harbor's surface. Good thing is that no one poked around, and authorities took care of this unusual breach. Battle of the Oranges Well, this is the Italian version of the Food Battle Festival. But unlike the spoon with tomatoes, Italy uses oranges. Spoilers, it hurts a lot, 
and even gets too rough sometimes. But these folks do not mind it at all, as the festival is close to cultural representation, commemorates the uprising against 13th century opponents who received all the eligible women for marriage to him, which led to riots at the time and people got on foot with stones in their hands and horse-driven carts. Let's just say it didn't end well for the monarchs. These days, it goes on for three consecutive days, in which nine revolutionary teams, consisting of more than 3,500 people, smack each other with ripe oranges, and people all around the world come to get in on some good orange-throwing fights at this festival. Huge Water Spout A huge tornado kind of water spout was sighted off the Italian coast of Ostia near Rome. In December 2021, a gigantic water spout emerged, which left the netizens bewildered of what they had just seen. Some say it is related to a scientific phenomenon called whirlwind over water, which had reached from the surface of the sea into the clouds just before dissipating into the air. According to reports, this whole thing lasted for around 15 minutes, and a second mini version of the same water spout was witnessed shortly afterward, before the strong winds, hail, and the rain hit the ground. While it could be some sort of natural disaster, it sounds safe with scientific reasoning. Healing Spring Water While drinking eight glasses of water can keep you healthy, this miracle water from the Fountain of Youth can keep you youthful and active throughout. It was discovered some 700 years ago, and since the days of the Roman Republic, this Italian spring water claims to have healing powers. It is supposed to dissolve kidney stones, wipe away wrinkles, and pretty much bring spring flowing into the atmosphere. According to missionary father Giulio Albano, he has seen 41 people recovering from kidney stones just by drinking this magical water. In fact, some doctor in Italy prescribed Fuji water as medicine. Until a few years ago, this water could only be found at pharmacies. But today, you can easily get your hands on it from any supermarket around the world. If you're looking to replace your tea or coffee with something healthy, why not try this? Today's open discussion points to the massive discovery that is about to change the definition of human evolution, as recently, scientists have found skeletons of a hobbit-like species of human that grew no larger than a three-year-old modern child, and expats are calling it the find of the century. Not much is known about the skeleton yet, but our fingers are crossed. What do you guys think? Houses of the Future Okay, so this is what the Italian future looks like. Well, Italian manufacturers are 3D printing houses, as they aim to combine materials from the dawn of civilization with 21st century technology, using 6 kilowatts of electrical power. It is surely truly innovative to shape the future by combining ancient materials with the technologies we have available today. Each home is around 60 square meters and has all the essentials like a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom, and the building services. The structure is partially printed from local earth and integrated into the structure. And the best part is that they are designed to be recycled or reused. And if you ask me, it would make for a great sweat lodge. Historic Bottles Discovering a ton of historic bottles is something very unusual, and so were the crews surprised by this mysterious discovery, which has made them stop their work immediately. A construction site for a park in Florence was turned into an archaeological site after 10,000-year bottles were unearthed in a series of weird patterns that looked like some kind of pathway. Well, this bottle resembles that of a whiskey bottle, a champion or medicine bottle, but the mystery behind it is still unsolved. Who knows how long it will take them to reopen the site for construction, or else those kids are gonna have to figure out how to use these glass bottles as a toy. Race of Frogs Nobody likes to stay in a sense of slavery, and so is the castle of Fermignano, 
who was under the authority of Urbino ever since its origin. Later, in 1907, Francesco Maria Il della Rovere, 15th Count of Montefeltro and last Duke of Urbino, established the Municipal Council of Fermignano after repeated proposals. And from this day on September 28, 1607, the event was celebrated as Domenica in Albis, consisting of sack races, breaking of pots, greasy tree, race of frogs and wheelbarrows until it was completely extinguished. But in 1966, when the Pro Loco Association, reviving the atmosphere of the celebrations, the race of frogs was restored as Palio della Rana, where young men run wheelbarrows through each town with a single frog on it. The runners represent the five town districts, and also there's fried and porchetta style frog legs available on the menu during and after the race. Oh yeah, they take their front race really seriously. Thank you very much for watching the video. 